Hi guys, welcome back to New Vegas. So I did a couple things in between last time and now. Basically, I bought that rifle I wanted from Chet. I checked out the two workstations next to his shop and took the Sunset Sarsaparilla out of the crates nearby. Do not worry, it was not theft. I went back to Doc Mitchell's place, borrowed his chemistry set and some surgical tubing. I used the surgical tubing to make a thing. And then I moved into Victor's house, completely disrespected his privacy and stored half of our stuff in his tub. Don't worry about it, he's a robot. I don't think he'll be taking a bath anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, that's it. You're all caught up and we are ready to go have an adventure. How exciting. It's such a beautiful morning here in Good Springs. And I have no idea what I want to do. I have no idea at all. There's lots of stuff. We could do anything. We, we have free reign of the waste. Kind of. Not really. It looks like this guy just wants to go to the saloon. What you gonna do at the saloon, buddy? Are you just gonna drink? It's a little early for that. I mean, it is like 6.47 a.m. Ooh. They're gonna be calling you whiskey shakes before too long. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, how about we check out this postal box? Because I didn't last time. Because, okay, I thought it was going to be a quest box. But maybe it'll actually do something. Okay, welcome to the Mojave Express. Mojave Express drop boxes like this one can be used to deliver items to any Mojave Express drop box that you've discovered. Once you find a Mojave Express drop box, you can activate it and you'll be able to use the same. Oh! You'll be able to use that location to send or receive items. Are you joking? I must discover another one to make shipments. Okay, so is this like a shared inventory? Are you telling me? Yeah, it says inventory on it. So I didn't actually need to put everything in uh, Victor's house. I don't think he'll mind. Like I said, he's not gonna be taking any baths anyway. So we could start by trying to talk to Ringo, but I, I don't really want to go ahead and get bad reputation with the powder gangers. Cause let's face it, there's probably gonna be some kind of something going on. I mean, the quest is literally called what? Ghost Town Gunfight? I'm pretty sure there's going to be a gunfight. And I do not think they will take well to that. So, you know, I have another idea of what we can do right now. Don't worry. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Don't panic. It's okay. Calm down. But we are going to do other stuff too. I want to read this because this is what Doc Mitchell gave me. It's the thing he found on me when he fixed me up so it says instructions deliver the package at the northern entrance to the vegas strip by way of freeside an agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint take possession of the package and pay for the delivery bring the payment to johnson nash at the mojave express agency in prim bonus on completion is 250 caps the manifest for the package is one oversized poker chip composed of platinum Contract penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible if any maleficence or loss. Oh, so I'm responsible for that? Okay. Failure to deliver to the proper recipient may result in forfeiture of your advance and bonus criminal charges and or punishment by mercenary reclamation teams. Oh, the Mojave Express is not responsible for any injury or loss of life <laughs> you experience as a result of said reclamation effort. Okay. Well, I was just thinking about this because if you look here, it says we can find the men who tried to kill us but we can also inquire about the delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prem. And Prem is to the south. So how, how south is it? It's not that south. Okay. We could probably... We could probably do that. What do you think? Do you want to do that first? I think maybe I want to do that first. I mean, we can come back and help Ringo. Don't worry about it. I'm just worried that if I don't do any exploring before I make the powder gangers really angry speak of the devil okay hey you're that guy right yeah Joe Cobb what the hell is your problem oh gee whiz what's yours what do you want I want to know what your attitude's about actually what was that stuff you were saying about Ringo he's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory he's hiding somewhere in town serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. I'm not sure that would serve them right. Like, what are you so mad about anyway? Okay, I'm not gonna tell him I want to help him take over the town because I 
I don't want to do that. This area is your territory? I, I'm pretty sure it's not. Like, this is not the Lion King. Everything the light touches is not his. At least that's my first impression, so... Yeah. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Oh, are you? What were you even in prison for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. You ought to know better than to talk like that to a stranger who may be the only person out here who may even consider helping you. Well, we have a speech option. We can say that we just want to know if we need to watch our step or not. I guess we'll go with that. Rob some people. Burn some things. Killed a few guys. Oh, so you're just as pleasant as I thought you were. Great. Okay. What's been going on in the rest of the wasteland? Maybe he'll tell us more about his whole crew if we ask this. Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Okay. Do you know anything about the dam? Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. Right. You probably wouldn't want to go near there since you escaped from them. What about the Legion, then? I've run with some tough gangs. But I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing. But I'll be staying out of their way. I'm not saying I'm afraid of them, but I'm afraid of them. That's you. That's what you sound like. Okay. Tell me about the NCR. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave. But it's a big desert. So it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Hey, wait, 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 hang on a minute. So you don't like it when a group of people who have some kind of power try to, oh, I don't know, randomly establish themselves a territory and then enforce their own policies on everyone who comes through. Like, let's say, I don't know, like you're doing Duringo. I don't know, you hypocrite. Okay, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, Holmes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not very thug. Okay, anyway, I do want to go... To Prem, without worrying about powder gangers. Are we going to run into any mercenary squads? You know, I mm, I didn't realize we were that in deep. Like, we have a lot riding on that ship, and we probably really should get it back, you know? I mean, would they just accept payment for it? Like, could I bribe my way out of this situation by... Just paying them. Gosh, this is neat. Look at that. It's very neat. Have you looked at that over there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not surprise me with pop-up boxes. What is this? Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Okay, I did think it was kind of weird that this didn't come up when we left the doctor's house. But then again, that was like a really short character creation. Like, much shorter than uh, the whole Vault 101 thing from 3. So... I mean, I'm fine. I mean, I'm sure a bunch of you guys are cringing at my character build, but I, ju I just want to feel lucky, okay? Just let me be lucky this once. All right. I am the lucky one, and we are going to travel onward. Yes. It is done. I will own those <laughs> mistakes. Um, it probably would have been smart if I looked at all of the perks when I leveled up to two and kind of planned out a build any build but I didn't do that sorry I'm just panicking whoa oh okay again <laughs> you've discovered several locations you can fast travel back to discovered locations using the world map on pit boy do not laugh at me okay all right good what is this gene skydiving really hello I'm here for sky Diving lessons? What? No skydiving? How lame is that? There's a bottle cap. Wait. Is that the currency? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey wait, hey, hang on. Wait. Can I check in? I, I can't check it at all. So, sarsaparilla caps are the currency and not the Nuka Cola ones? Oh, well, that's disappointing. That makes me a little bit sad. I like the Nuka Cola caps. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sarsaparilla that's just kind of weird and how come everybody in the whole world 
wants bottle caps of some kind. Ooh, whoa. Lots of cool stuff. Melee weapons and guns. That that's that's our new outfit. Actually, I um sorry, I I can't think and talk at the same time, which is probably really bad. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, what was I doing? What was I saying? Oh yeah. I I didn't dump this in Victor's bathtub because I actually kind of wanted to wear it, but not yet. I feel cozy in this for now, but I guess I can feel cozy in this too. How how we looking how how we looking like, huh? Oh, we look so good. Just like any Merc Grunt. It looks exactly the same as it did in three. That's kind of comforting. Nothing in the suitcase. That's kind of lame. Hey, who? Who's that? Who are you? Hello? Who are you? What are you doing? What are these what are the what are these guys doing? What's up guys? Hey, hey, what's up? How's it going? Never gets old when something blows up. Okay. Um anything else? Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Huh? Okay. Ooh, I wanna take their explosives. Hmm. That's okay. I can do it if I'm hidden, right? You know? You eyeballing me? I'm eyeballing this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've actually heard that quote before, but I didn't know, like, what it was from. And, I mean, they might have it from somewhere else. Ooh, I can push this? Heck yes! Don't mind me! Don't mind me, guys! Not doing anything with your explosives crate. Alright. Are we good? I'm hidden. Okay, okay, okay. And these are mine. Aha! I succeeded, I think. They're not coming, are they? They're not. And then there's somebody down there. You know, I don't even know. I'm just glad that I didn't immediately do the Ringo thing and then run into these guys. That's kind of funny, though, that you can just kick the crate <laughs> away from them. Like, it's no big deal. Uh, but, yeah, let's continue on to Prim. I... I'm wondering if that's Prim down there, and if it is, that's exciting, because I really like that wooden roller coaster you can see. See it? You see it? I think it's a roller coaster. It looks like one. I can't imagine anything else that would have that shape. Business wear, how neat. Oh, the park stroller outfit. That was my favorite one in, um, in Fallout 3, because it was nice and green and pretty. Is it pretty? Is it pretty? Don't worry, we're just going to play dress up. It is! It's, uh... It's even greener. Oh, okay. Well, the dress is greener on the other game, I suppose. Back to this, because it has two guns. Plus two guns. Ha ha ha. All right. I want to look at the billboards as well, because I did notice on the loading screen, you quite often get to see billboards, and I think it's trying to teach me some of the local flavor of the game or something. So I might as well take a look. Come visit... The Vicky and Vance Casino. See the infamous couple's death car. Oh, okay. Vicky and Vance were like uh, Bonnie and Clyde. You saw that over there, right? The little hostels. Uh oh, and it looks like there's a statue of a handshake over there. That's nice. Okay, what was this about? Uh, take exit one towards Prim. Oh, so we're near it? That's neat. What were those things, though? Did you see those? You know, I'm just going to be hitting the quick save like a maniac. Because I don't feel safe. I just do not. But I, I want to know more about this ridiculous contract. Why would I... Whoa, what is that? Is that a gecko? You see something waddling over there in the distance? I did. I want that. All right. Why would we even get into this situation to begin with? Like, what... What kind of stuff has my courier woman been through previously that made her think signing her life on a poker chip was a good idea? I mean, sweetheart. Uh, mm, I don't know. Maybe that's not the best line of work to be in. Oh, there goes another one over there. Do you see it? Do you see these things in the distance? I think it's just geckos. Oh, oh, I wanted to tell you as whoa as well so it's just it's just a fly it's just a butt fly oh and there's a gecko coming are they gonna fight eat him eat him eat that fly you're menacing him i see that oh you're so scary 
I guess you can't do anything because he's flying and you don't have a ranged attack. This is not a fair fight. Oh, there he goes. Get him. Oh, good job. You did it. I'm so proud. Okay, just keep on going. Gosh, you're funny. Do you want to fight me? Oh, you're so cute. Look at him go. Yeah, I definitely want the animal friend perk just for those guys. I just want them to be my friends. I like them a lot. He probably wants to fight me, but I was trying to... Oh, he's dancing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, Right, this gun, right? I wanted to buy it, but then I was so confused because I couldn't figure out like what kind of ammo it took. And look at this. Look at this. If I switch to something else and then come back to this one, look, the ammo goes up on its own. That is why it's called a recharge rifle. How about that? Isn't that just nifty? And I haven't fought anything with it yet, but I'm thinking we should, um, oh, did I not put my clothes back on? No, I did. Okay. It's just the bare arms. I'm not used to, I'm not used to having bare shoulders. So I was like, am I wearing a shirt? <laughs> okay. We're good. <laughs> We're wearing clothes. We're good. Um, anyway, this is great. I wish it was in better condition, but it seems like Chet cannot repair things. I don't know if, I mean, surely there's going to be a few vendors who can offer repairs. And we do have a couple weapon repair kits. But, um, I just didn't use them yet. Maybe I should. Maybe I should use one on this. That would probably be wise. But I'll do that in a minute. Maybe, maybe I'll do that next time we go out somewhere exciting. Because I'm thinking... We're almost to Prim. I think this is it, and I think we'll be safe here. I mean, relatively, anyway. Okay, there we go. There's the discovered noise. Don't get jump scared by discovering things. You already got jump scared by a pop-up box. How dumb do you have to even be? What are you doing? You don't want to talk to me, do you? You do. Oh, hey, where gee the hell whiz. Do you think you're going? Nowhere. Prim is off limits. Is it? Why? 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 Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Oh, crap. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. But, oh, shouldn't you be protecting the town or something, man? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Well, then what good are you? Why? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. Don't look at you me. Talk to Lieutenant Hayes. Uh oh. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Ooh. I don't want to get shot. Why would you shoot? Why would you shoot me? So he's he's down the road. Okay. Um. This is the east side. That's bad. Let's not be on the east side then. Okay. I don't. I officially regret coming to Prim. I mean, I'm not trying to get involved with the NCR or the Legion right away, okay? I... I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that nonsense. Alright. Ooh, and he probably really will not like it if I touch his stuff. Oh, I can use his bedroll. So he's like, you can sleep in my bed, but you cannot touch my ammunition. I guess... That's alright. And there's another critter running in the distance over there. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I guess now is as good a time as any to introduce ourselves to the NCR. I, I don't know. So who is holed up in there? Is that the Powder Gangers too? Am I just going to make them mad either way, no matter what? Yeah, I see you down there leaning on your little barrier thing. Trying to intimidate little old me. Well, it's working, okay? So, good job. Alright, so what kind of karma loss is it if I actually steal from these guys? Is it going to be anything? Eh, yeah, there's a little bit. I'm not going to really take all of it, though. I mean, it weighs, it has weight, and I'm not going to be converting it into other types of ammunition or anything. We have a recharger rifle. We're fine. Okay, so... Are you Lieutenant Hayes? You don't look like a lieutenant. Hey. Yeah, you're a sergeant. Hey. 
I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally. I don't know what that is. It's been a long is. time since I saw it. <laughs> I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Really? Okay. Ma'am? Sir? Okay. So you're just like straight on military, like crazy op in this place, huh? Okay, well, that's good. So he is in probably a tent. I know, probably a tent. But I wanted to see if I could. Nope, I can't. Can't squeeze in there. Not from here anyway. Okay, let's see. This is the lieutenant's tent. And then this is just an NCR tent. Okay, let's check this one out first. Ooh. I know. I said I wouldn't steal all of their stuff, and I, I won't. Only if it's, like, worth the... Ooh. Worth the loss. Okay, I... I don't know. It's worth a lot. I feel like I could sell it. Okay, yeah, those are for crafting. I might want similar items at some point, but I I don't know. For now, I'm not going to I'm not going to do too much. I'm not going to do too much for now. Okay. Let's go talk to the lieutenant. I kind of don't want to, but we're gonna What's going on? I can see the power struggle going on here. So, who are you? Just a trooper. I thought maybe you'd at least have a name. Hello. Hello. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Okay, well, that's good. It's good they have something to count on. How about we make a nice new, like, actual save? Bump it up. There we go. Okay, great. Okay. Hi. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Do you all have to introduce yourself that way? That's a little bit long winded, don't you think? What are you doing here, friend? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Are they? Well, what about... The convicts, what kind of information do you have on them? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. Right. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Okay. What about the correctional facility? Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. <laughs> Why? A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. Okay. And I've been ransacking the area since then. I just... It kills me, the abbreviations in CRCF. It's gonna get ridiculous if you keep adding just letters on letters. Okay. I have other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Can you please tell me about your faction? I want to know something about it from the people who are actually in it, please. Where do you come from that you haven't heard of the NCR? Never mind, it doesn't matter much. Wow, he cared about me for a whole us, second. You must not be from the Legion. Put simply, the NCR is the greatest nation currently functioning. Really? You consider yourselves a nation? That's kind of neat. Um, can you tell me more about that? Sure can. The NCR was founded from the survivors of one of the Great Vaults. We started as a small settlement called Shady Sands. Oh, that's cool. We now consist of five states that make up the greatest nation since the Great War. Okay. Why is the NCR interested in the desert? Well, it's no secret. Our interest here is twofold. First, we want to remain in control of Hoover Dam. It supplies the Republic with power and is a source of fresh water. Second, we want to prevent the Legion from advancing across the Colorado River and endangering the home states. Can you tell me about the Legion? Caesar's Legion. A bunch of degenerate slavers led by a madman who calls himself Caesar. Every one of them is a barbarian to the last. I've even heard one of their leaders, the Legate or something, goes around with a human skull on his head. Savages to the last. Um, yeah, they sound like absolute nutters when you put it that way. Thank you for the info. Goodbye. 
Oh, yeah, goodbye to you too. All right, well, I guess I won't rifle through your stuff because, um, you know, you're in there and what not. Okay, so I, I just can't, I just can't go into prim. So I have to do something about the powder dudes. What is that? It's nothing. It just looked like maybe it was something. Okay, well, you know. Okay. All right. I guess we can go back to Good Springs. So much for my big idea of coming to Prem and getting info from the Mojave Express. So does that mean he's going to be dead? Hi, did I speak with you? No, you're just a trooper. You're just going to say something generic. Go ahead. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Didn't think it was possible you'd look worse from the front than the side, but all right. Okay. Good. All right. I don't know if I'd gamble if I were you. If I looked like that, I'd probably just drink. But anyway, I guess we can go back to Good Springs. Um, I mean, we're just not going to be able to get anything done here, I, I don't think. I mean, clearly there's stuff to do here, but I just, I, mm, I don't see it. I don't see it happening right now. I really don't. I really don't see it happening right now. So, like, uh, he didn't give me a quest or anything. But they said that if I went on the other side of the overpass over there, then they would shoot me. So, um, okay. Oh, look, there's a guy over there on the, uh, I'm not going to shoot him, but look, on the roller coaster. Okay. I don't know what to do about this. All right, that's just going to have to wait. I'm putting this straight on the back burner. Let's go back to Good Springs. It's neutral. Okay, so they're going to tell me the affiliation of different cities, and so I'm gonna completely block myself out of some places and be allowed into others. Okay, there's the correctional facility. So that's gonna become hostile real quick. All right, yeah, and those are things. Okay, maybe we should just go to the strip. We can't go straight there though. I think the best way to go there I don't know. Okay, so she said, what were the names of the roads again? She said not to take the I whatever, and I'm assuming that's what this is. So, I would have to go all the way around. Is that correct? Am I correct in that assumption? I don't know what the best way to get there is, because apparently it's super freaking dangerous. Maybe, maybe we can make it. I don't know. Do you want to try, guys? Do you think we should try? I mean... I don't know. <laughs> Some people were telling me they wanted me to do this because, I don't know, you're a sadist or something? Why would you want me to do that? Do you want me to die? Well, you know, I guess I can at least venture to the edge, okay? Let's just venture over a little ways and maybe we'll, maybe we'll learn something or see something cool, you know? I'm not saying we're going to travel the whole way there. Definitely not saying that, but we're gonna have a we're gonna have a nice look. And there's a dog up here. I'm sure it's a bad dog. Are you a bad? Who's a bad boy? Hmm. I get his attention. You know, I think I want to actually use more vats as opposed to less because I don't want it to actually bite me. I haven't taken too horribly much damage so far, and I would like to not start now. Where are you going? Excuse you. Oh, there you are. No? There we go. I'm sorry that I had to shoot you in the butt for you to die, but that's what happens when you run away. You know? You don't want to get shot in the butt. Probably don't turn around. Alright. Thank you, coyote. And... That was not hard, so, you know, easy enemies. Very nice. Thank you for being nice to me at the beginning game. I appreciate your compassion. That's what I'm going with anyway. It's compassionate, isn't it? Maybe I should have taken those NCR clothes to sell them. Like, one of them was like 106. That was kind of a lot. But, I, mm, I don't even know. I don't even know what kind of karma I'm going for. Like, I was good karma in 3... 
just because I, I didn't want to do bad things, you know, like you, you run into somebody and they're like, please don't kill me, I am a helpless individual, and I, I tend to just go, okay, goodbye, take care of yourself. <laughs> it's just my standard way of wanting to deal with things. I think I would probably have to try pretty hard to make myself be bad karma. I think that's the Valley of the Scorpions. Oh, wow, look, little bugs. Did they do anything? Do you do anything? No? You're just decorative? Well, that's cool. I like the decorative bugs. Alright, let's hit this place. And it is an abandoned shack. Okay, cool. Probably could have taken up residence in here. Instead of at Victor's place. But I, I feel safer at, at his house, you know? Ooh, steady. Yes, please. You know, with a, a robot guy standing right outside makes you feel... A little bit better than if you were on your own. That's my opinion anyway. You know, take it take it or leave it. I mean, I guess it depends what kind of robot it is. There are some robots that definitely do not make you feel safe. But Victor's not one of those. He's a good guy. I really like him. Okay. Uh, oh, what is that? A nine iron. Okay, sure. I'll sell it at least. Okay, so the light turns itself off. I kind of noticed this before. Like, look on and now it's off you have to actually turn it back on okay that's that's nifty nifty swifty i'm gonna forget about it and i'm gonna be turning on and off the light on my own How about that probably should continue to save the game occasionally it's just a discovery noise i'll get used to it one day don't worry okay and this is the yang something memorial all right what's that all about is there any kind of plaques or anything? I mean, there's names. But is there an informational plaque? What was that? We discovered a radio station. Black Mountain Radio? I'm assuming it's just going to be static. Yeah, because, uh, you know, we can't have nice things in our life anymore. That's good. What is... Uh, there's a scorpion. And there's a sign. Oh, joy. Look at this. Sign. Warning. Death claws ahead. So it's not even a secret. It's just a fact. It's just a fact at this point. What is that? Duffel bag? Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes, please. I'll take all of it. How close are we to over encumbered again already? Didn't take long, does it? All right. So we need to go to the strip. I know. I know the sign. I just want to, like, I just want to glimpse one, guys, okay? It's like bird watching. I just want to see it. I just want to... I just want to look at death in the face once, okay? Um, alright, well. Looks good so far. <laughs> looks, uh, oh, there's another one. Okay, well, you know, I, mm, 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 I, mm. I just, oh, I'm not into it, guys. You know? Horrible, horrible death. With claws? I mean, nah. Probably no thanks. I don't see them, though. So are they, like, hiding? Are they straight up hiding? And that... That's the road you don't want to take, right? Okay, well... We'll just have to find... Another way... To go. That's, that, I mean, that's it, you know? It's either do the Ringo thing and do something about the Powder Gangers now... Or, do you see that over there? That looks like a first aid box. I mean, I don't know where the safety ends and the death begins, guys. So we gotta, we gotta skirt the, the edge. This guy didn't have a very good time. What you got, though? Knife? Uh, oh, are you reaching for the magnum rounds? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm taking them. You can't have them. But I will leave you this uh, first aid box as a pillow. So comfy. Okay. Very good. And that's another powder guy. That's the one I saw up the road that I didn't go to. I think we can go to him. Maybe he has something useful. Like the other guys had that crate of explosives. Maybe this guy has something. I know, guys. This is just full of indecision, is it not? But I promise you, we'll get the ball rolling real soon, okay? Okay. I have to just dip my toes in before I jump all the way into the... What have you done? 
What's what is what is what is this? What is what is this? What are you? Why do they all have that same stupid haircut? Crimson Caravan. So they just hate the Crimson Caravan, huh? You better believe I'm taking that. And these. Yes. All right. Whoa. What are you doing, guys? Okay. Cool. Don't worry. I didn't do anything. They all have the same haircut. They're like triplets. Freaky. Okay, this one died. I don't really... I don't really want his outfit, though. It's, like, not very cool. And it's not worth a lot, so... Another one? Leather armor. Mmm, I can't carry it right now, but... Okay, what does that note say? Uh, hitchhikers may be escaped prisoners. Right, the compound is over there, isn't it? Let's see if we can get a look at it. Don't worry, guys. I'm definitely being careful. So that's the compound? Oh, gee whiz. Okay. Yep, that's it. That's the one. And we cannot take this road. This is the Quarry Junction Road, isn't it? Well. You know what, guys? I think we should do it. What do you think? How brave are you exactly? And how much do you want to see me die? Because, um... It'll be alright. Oh, look, there's another death claw sign. Yeah, going up this way is probably... Probably bad news. I mean, I'm assuming this is the road that Trudy said Hello was bad there. news. It's good to see a friendly face. Oh. I almost took you for a raider, I did. My okay. name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Do not sneak up on Don't people, sweetie. Don't care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. What's your deal? I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. No, 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 no. Why? Why? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Okay, yeah, I I didn't know. Why are you Why are you even telling me this? You could have just taken advantage of me, man. You're not a very good bandito, are you? What's special about them? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Okay. Where can I... So, wait. So you collect them, too? Nah. I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Okay, that's creepy. Um, what kind of treasure is it? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Okay. Where can I find more of them? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it. Hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Festus? Other than bottles... You'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. You mentioned Festus? Who is that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. And they weren't the lying type, either. Thank you for the information. I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Oh, come on, man. Alan... Alan Marks. Okay, we will keep an eye out for Alan Marks. But in the meantime... Gosh, you guys are freaky. You're all twins. All right, Interstate 15. Yeah, this is the bad road. This is the road you should not be on. This is me making bad decisions. Very bad decisions. We're just going to keep going and uh, see what happens, even though it's almost nighttime. Whoa, look, it's all lit up now. Because it's nighttime. Oh, cool. 
Neat. I don't think we're going to make it there, though. There's no way we're going to make it there. I found some, some friendlies, but I don't know who they are. Should we go talk to them? Maybe? Maybe we should talk to them? Is this a bad idea? I don't really know. Hold Ooh. up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. Okay. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. Okay. Uh, where do they come from, even? They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks. But now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Right. Um, I cannot offer you to get rid of them right now. Can you tell me more about the powder gangers, please? They're a bunch of escape cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. That's pretty bad. Have you had problems with Death Claws before? Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Okay. Can we talk about something else, please, Lewis? Okay. What is this place? This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay's good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. Oh, they have their own money system? What is the... NCR do with the cement? It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR is probably building fortifications with it all. Okay. What's a drag line? It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. I see. Um, so you get paid in paper money, huh? Nope. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. Okay. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. Well, I'm sorry you guys can't actually work. Sure. What about New Vegas? What can you tell me? I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I see. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. Of course not. Why would it? Thank you, Lewis. If you insist on going north, don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. Okay, so... Yeah, that's definitely not promising. And I suppose we should not continue on this path. We definitely probably should not continue on this path. Quarry workers. We have some sarsaparilla. And there's the probably the last sign that they're going to have for you. Warning. Death claws ahead. Yeah. Can I just glimpse death, please? Can I just see the danger? Oh, there it is! You see him? You see him over there? Yeah, okay. I'm not going to fuss with that. Nope. We're not fussing with that. Nice to know they're there, though. We we did it. We looked death in the face, and we ran away. We turned tail, and we ran. We ran away. Okay. For now. So here's the deal, guys. I know I said I just wanted to glimpse death and then run away from it, but you know what? We haven't done a lot today, okay? It's been pretty quiet. We just wanted to look around. You know, our trip to Prim didn't work out at all. I don't know what to do about that. Um, we didn't do anything with the Powder Gangers or Ringo. We didn't really do much. And, uh, woo! And, um, 
I don't know. Maybe I just need a little bit of excitement in my life. Oh, and we're hidden again. Oh, good. We're hidden again. We're hidden again. Is that it? Is that all of them? I don't see any more. Wow. Is that it? Are you kidding? Was that the whole deal? No way. Really? That was easy. Oh, wait. 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 Ooh. Sneaky. Trying to hide some. Trying to hide some over there. Well, you know what? I'll just go around, huh? Yep. Just gonna go around. Just gonna go right around over here. Heck yeah. How about that, son? How you feel about that? Claw man? Hmm? Yeah. That's right. You suffer. You hungry. Because you ain't gonna eat me today. See that booty? That's what my booty looks like. Because it doesn't have a big bite taken out of it yet. Okay. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Seriously, is that it? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it isn't. 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 Okay. Alright. Okay. We're gonna have to uh, get a little creative here. Might have to um, involve ourselves in a little bit of mountain climbing parkour. Alright. This is going okay, though. This is going pretty hot so far, guys. What do you think about me, huh? That's right. I got one of those and they can kiss it. That's what I've got to say about them. He's going to see me, isn't he? No, he isn't. Wow. Wow. Are there going to be more of them over here? Because I can't look at two places at once and I, I kind of want to... Ooh, look at them. Whoa! Are you kidding? Wow! Okay. All right, game. I got your game, game. All right. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. Ah, uh, wow. Whoa, and there's a... Uh, oh, it's a, just a... It's just a plant. I thought maybe it was a glowing one for a second. Oh, nope. Oh, dear. He has seen me. You know, this could work in our favor. They're going to try and come all the way up and around over here. Which is going to leave that place potentially open for business. And by business, I mean sneaking through. Gosh, that looks dope. Don't you just want to go over there and... Woo! All right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. 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 That's the end. Nope. No, sir. Oh, yikes. One hit. Wow. One hit. Wow. I think we did pretty good, though. That was a pretty good try. You know what? I think I might try it again. You know, I've really got faith in us. I really think we can do it. If we just try really hard, maybe... Maybe we can make it. I think maybe we can. If the ambient sound will stop freaking me out, I think we've got good odds. Let's take this hill approach again because I think it was working out pretty well last time until I was too slow at jumping off of it, you know? Okay, this is going to be really slow going, but sometimes, you know, patience is the best medicine. That's not a saying. No one says that. But you can quote me on it if you want to. Woof, danger, danger. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, that's it. That's the end of sneaking. So he's got to go where to come over here? He's got to come up where to come? I don't know where he's going to come from. Can they even get up here? Like, can they even? Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, I don't think I can outrun them. I'm not going to be able to outsneak them. But, sometimes you just got to do the best you can. Well, they have seen me, but they don't know what to do about it. So, that's good news, I guess. Maybe I could actually kill them because they have no way of getting up here. This is like shooting fish in a barrel, but maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. What do you think? I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's going to take a while either way. 
I am legitimately gonna run out of weapon condition and ammo before either of these die, so. Yeah, this is not, this ain't, this ain't it. This ain't working, this is not it. So what if I, all right, I don't, I don't wanna get close to that. I don't wanna get close to that. Does that see me? That kinda sees me. All right, I, um, all right, I'll think of something because this ain't happening. All right, I think they have a way of getting to me now that I'm up here. I think they do. So I'm just gonna keep a real hot eye on them. Okay, that's, that's close enough, that's close enough. Run, 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 run. I don't think we're gonna make it, but we're gonna try, we're gonna run. I don't even wanna know where they are. Oh, they're all the way over there? Maybe we can actually make it. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. There's no way. Nope, there's no way. Ooh, I hear gunshots, though. There's no way this stim pack is gonna out-heal anything. Please, no touchies. Oh, cha 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 Okay guys, I think I figured out where we're going wrong with this, and number one, you didn't believe in me hard enough, okay? You see, I am like a magical fairy, and the harder you believe in me, the better I will do. So clearly this is all your fault, and I'm gonna need you to do better, uh, so we can succeed, okay? Just try a little harder from now on, it's okay, I forgive you, I know you didn't mean to. And the second thing is that we are going off this mountain slope too close to them i think we want to continue over this direction a little ways until i find somewhere where they do not exist how about that all right i think we've come across a piece of land with no death claws on it but i just i don't trust it i don't trust it yet so you know hold your breath guys we're still gonna exercise a little bit of caution through here because I, I just, I don't trust it. I just don't trust this game that much. Not yet. Okay, I think we've done it, guys. I think you can breathe again now. We're all the way over here. There's a dead Brahmin and some soldier ants that I'm going to ignore. Maybe that's a pretty interesting place, but I, I wanna, I wanna excuse you? Excuse you, who? I want to get closer to the strip. I just want to get a little closer. We can investigate those houses some other time. I just want to make sure we're really out of the woods. I'm a little bit in disbelief right now. But I think I can uncrouch. I think we've just done it. We've done it. We actually did it! We made it through... The difficult way. I mean, we kind of, you know, skirted some mountains and did some parkour, but we've done it. Yeah, this looks like the road into town, so I guess this is a good place to stop. Wow, we've done it. Are you impressed with me or what? See, I knew you, you just had to believe harder. And I hope now you'll believe hard enough to make this stop, because I'm not all about it. But anyway, that's it for today. Look forward to this exciting mess next time i'm sure we'll find a bunch more factions to hate us <laughs> anyway love you see you again soon bye bye